Hey, it's business coach Steve Gornson with another business tip to help you work smarter, not harder, so you can live more life. So have you ever felt like overwhelmed in your business? You, you know, you've been working really hard, but you don't feel like you're really making enough progress or, or you just have no time for yourself. Well, I think we've all been there at one point or another. It's really frustrating, isn't it? So today's business tip, what I want to do is share with you some strategies to help you to go from being overwhelmed and stressed to being focused on the, really your most important and productive task that you can execute to help move you to your next level of success fast. So as I mentioned before, it's not unusual to feel overwhelmed in business. You know, we see it all the time. Frankly, it's just not sustainable though. It leads to burnout and it's really detrimental to you and your business. So it's easy to fall into this trap is we all really overcommit maybe on a project or we get a new customer or we're opening up a new location. This has got to stop and end right now. Now, what we really need to do is we need to realize that it's normal to get overcommitted for a little while and feeling a little bit overwhelmed. It's okay. It's, it's actually really exciting. And it's actually, you know, that's why it's so addicting, isn't it? Really, when you see that there's no end in sight, we begin to lose that feeling of excitement and that feeling of overwhelm begins to take us over. And that feeling is re it's really not fun. You know, you feel that you can't even move. You just feel stuck and you quickly go from being energized to really being overwhelmed. You know what you need to get done, but you really you know, keep getting interrupted with an employee or a client issue. It's all those fires that keep popping up. You just can't seem to get really a moment to breathe, let alone find time to think and to be uh, strategic about your company. At best, you're just being tactical, taking action, putting out fires. This level of overwhelm is not sustainable. And if you've been in that state for a while, you know exactly what I'm talking about, or at least your family and your employees do, because you sort of take it out on them a little bit. So you're tired, you're irritable, you're, you're really not having fun, you dread getting up, you don't want to talk to your team, you're just in a state of, oh, I'd rather be somewhere else. Well, I'm here to tell you that it's time to hit that remote and hit pause for a moment. You know, now that you've stopped the, that treadmill to, to nowhere, I want to share with you how to move forward. So first, let's stop comparing ourselves from where we are now to where we think we should be. You see, we tend to beat ourselves up saying, hey, we've only gotten this far. We should be at this stage already. This happens when we don't take a moment to look at how far we've come and what we've actually really accomplished. So take a look at the past year. You know, have you grown as a business owner? Have you grown personally? Have you grown professionally? You know, what have you learned? Has your skills gotten better? Has your leadership improved? You know, have you improved your ability to attract and retain better employees? You know, has your marketing improved? Has your, are you better at sales? You're better at leading your team. Let's be honest with ourselves. You know, the answer to a lot of those is probably yes. And if you take a moment to look back at those little milestones, those little things really have gone through over this past year, you probably in a lot different state than you were a year ago. But if you still might find yourself saying, yeah, that's great, but hey, I should still be there. I'm not, get, I'm not getting there fast enough. Stop and listen to me right now. This is important. Stop shooting yourself. It's not healthy. It's not really helpful. In fact, it's actually hurting you and your business and your team. It actually it brings your mindset and your energy about your business or in your business down. Let's try a different strategy. How about we take a look back with recognition and gratitude of everything you've done and who you've become over the past year? This is probably one of the most important exercises I do with my clients putting together their 90-day plan. You know, we stop and look at where our what our accomplishments are, what were our disappointments, what did we want to achieve that we didn't, um, and the learnings that we had over the past 90 days. You know, and just by writing it down where you can see, hey, 
you know, I've grown this way this year or that. I've done, I've accomplished this. You know, I've developed personally. You know, I contribute to this person's personal development. You know, I've spent more time with my family and maybe contributed even to the community. If you stop and just think and look back at all the amazing things that you've done over this past year, it'll be amazing. You know, at first, this is really, it's not an easy exercise because it's easy to forget about all those things because you were so close to everything. We lose perspective. Now, what I want you to do is to make sure that we're looking forward. Do this by writing down worthwhile goals. We are now taking action every day to move us closer to these goals. And this is gonna make us easier for us to be able to see what we're achieving or the obstacles that had gotten in our way over time that have slowed us down that now we've been able to overcome. We need to stop beating ourselves up. We need a bit of patience and recognize we shouldn't compare ourselves to anyone else, let alone some of our future self. We want to compare ourselves to who we were last week, last year. Are we growing as a person? Are we growing as an organization? Are we achieving our personal bests each day, each week, each month? Are you getting better every day? Are you becoming a better leader? Are we doing things to improve our own selves, the people around us on a daily basis? Are we executing our plan? Are, are we really taking the right actions? Remember, this is not a sprint. It's more like a marathon. Show patience and just enjoy the journey. Because as I said many times before, you see success is that journey towards the achievement of predetermined worthwhile goals. Enjoy what you are doing. Have some fun, you know, and if you find that this really resonates with you and you want to really move beyond this feeling of overwhelm, I suggest that you schedule a free strategy session with me to help re-energize you and your business and help to move you and propel you forward. I'm business coach Steve Gornson, working with real people achieving real results, helping them to work smarter, not harder.